Item number, SCP-6145. Object class, neutralized. Special containment procedures. Having been publicly discredited as a hoax by embedded physicians and medical practitioners at King James Medical College in 1749, no further containment of SCP-6145 is required. The remains of all six instances of SCP-6145-1 have been preserved and are presently on display at Site-24's biological containment wing. Description SCP-6145 was an anomalous occurrence on May 30, 1749, wherein Virginia Croft, a resident of Wayford, England, gave birth to a set of seven non-anomalous Erectologus caniculus European rabbits, designated SCP-6145-1. Both Croft and all SCP-6145-1 instances survived this process. The incident received significant coverage from the British press, and was successfully contained by His Majesty's Foundation for the Secure Containment of the Paranormal or HMF SCP. Footnote 1. Foundation Precursor Organization, active primarily in the United Kingdom and Ireland between 1738 and 1918. In November 1749, through implementation of a cover story. History Virginia Croft, a 29 year old widow who had previously survived seven miscarriages, was unable to offer an explanation for SCP 6145. She reported that roughly one month prior, she awoke during the night to discover a mature male rabbit perched on her abdomen, which immediately departed. She further noted that in the weeks preceding SCP-6145, while exhibiting no typical symptoms of pregnancy, she experienced an unusual craving for grass, shrubs, and leafy vegetation. Croft, who had no known living relatives at the time of SCP-6145, did not initially inform any other persons of the occurrence. On August 12, 1749, Wayford physician Dr. Gordon Whiteley witnessed Croft breastfeeding several instances of SCP-6145-1 outside her home, whereupon she confessed to the extranormal circumstances of their birth. While initially skeptical, Whiteley later testified that he was intrigued by the rabbit's behavior, and requested to perform a cervical examination on Miss Croft. Croft agreed to this procedure, under the condition that Dr. Whiteley inform no others of his findings. This examination confirmed Croft's claims to be accurate. The following week, Whiteley informed several of his colleagues at King James Medical College of Croft's claims, which included several of Britain's most prominent physicians of the time. The resulting media fixation on Croft's claims attracted the attention of HMF SCP, who interviewed Dr. Whiteley and determined his findings to be credible. As this incident occurred over two centuries prior to the development of amnestics, His Majesty's Foundation instead focused on discrediting the anomaly. Miss Croft was asked to make a public statement, confessing that the events of SCP-6145 had been a hoax orchestrated by herself alone. Croft refused to comply with the Foundation's demands, unless all instances of SCP-6145-1 were returned to her possession. Unbeknownst to Croft, by this point all SCP-6145-1 had been transported to Facility Alpha for vivisection and were awaiting further testing. Footnote 2. Facility Alpha, since designated Site-24. On November 3rd, HMF SCP agent Dr. Philip Strangerson issued an official statement to King James Medical College, reporting that no evidence had been found to support Croft's claims. Strangerson further testified that based on their interactions, he believed Croft was likely to be suffering from grief-induced hysteria following multiple miscarriages and the death of her husband from tuberculosis in 1746. No further investigation was conducted into SCP-6145, and Dr. Gordon Whiteley resigned his position at King James Medical College in January 1749. Miss Croft was later admitted to a private psychiatric institution, where she died of undisclosed causes on November 10, 1753. She was buried in an unmarked grave in White Lake Cemetery, several kilometers outside her hometown. On November 10, 1754, a small group of mourners attending a funeral at White Lake Cemetery reported witnessing several dozen juvenile rabbits belonging to a variety of species assembling at a point facing the graveyard's west entrance. Each instance was reported to be carrying a single flower in its mouth, which was deposited before departing in unison through the west gate. 
Subsequent exhumation of this site revealed the presence of human remains, which were later confirmed to be those of Virginia Croft. In order to prevent similar occurrences in the future, Croft's corpse was removed and transported to Facility Alpha for incineration. No further anomalous activity has been reported in Wayford since. Addendum In 2003, Site-24 Director Jacqueline Fleming issued the following statement regarding SCP-6145 and the circumstances which followed. Throughout this organization's history, countless men and women, field agent and civilian alike, have endured untold sacrifice for the sake of preserving normalcy. Few of these cases, however, have garnered the same level of notoriety and intense scrutiny over the ensuing years as that of Virginia Croft. Miss Croft lived in the tumultuous and uncertain era of our forefathers, who were only beginning to probe the mechanics of the impossible. They did not have access to such conveniences as the modern amnestic techniques we take for granted. As a result, they had little choice but to resort to less scrupulous methods of containment, leading to unfortunate and often tragic consequences. Bearing this in mind, I am pleased to announce that Site-24's forthcoming nature preserve, dedicated to the care and study of anomalous wildlife in all its forms, will hereafter officially be known as the Croftwing. Secure. Contain. Protect. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Brody Hartman, Rubbishbin69, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.